Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide. I'm Sean Sandbrook and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all the various different items that I was lucky enough to be able to purchase from the Drayton Manor memorabilia auction. So you might have seen a video on this channel, it was called Pirate Adventure Remembering Drayton Manor's Classic Dark Ride. In that video I was actually talking a little bit about the history of the ride, sharing my memories but also the fact uh, that I was going to an auction uh, where they were selling off various different items from inside Pirate Adventure and also also some other surprises from the park as well. Uh, I actually went to the auction along with Charlotte, Alex Lee, various of our other friends and people we know as well from the enthusiast community were all there wanting a piece of the action and I must say Drayton Manor put on an absolutely fantastic event. It took place on Sunday the 12th of January 2020 and at the time of recording that was just yesterday so as I'm sure you can imagine it's been a busy day for me and also Charlotte uh, cleaning up some of the items and getting them ready for restoration. Um, so yeah we did manage to get a few different things um, from Pirate Adventure and also a couple of other surprises as well uh, and that's what I'm going to share with you all in this video. Um, just a little bit about the night, I mean it was really nicely done by Drayton Manor and um, there was various different items, uh, most of them that were all brought up into one of their suites what they've got where they do like a lot of conferences and um, like all sorts of big meals and dinners and that sort of stuff uh, and they had it actually in there the auction, they got a proper auctioneer in, um, everybody had a lot number and it was really nicely done. In fact the guy who was doing the auction was up for a bit of a laugh it was um yeah there's a bit of banter going on it was really nicely put on by the park so first i'd just like to say a big thank you um to everyone at drayton manor um especially danielle lee and also sam who were all there on the night um and also put all of it together so a big thanks to you guys along with everyone else at drayton manor for giving us the opportunity uh, to be able to get some items from pirate adventure and also um, various other things as well um, so yeah, without further ado, let's talk about what I've got. So I'm going to start off by sharing with you all a sign. So obviously here I haven't really got the space to hold some of these things up. So um, just before filming this segment, I've just been outside um, and I've sort of filmed all of these. So here we go. Here's the first item and it's this wonderful sign. I mean, I'm really pleased with that. It says photographed at Drayton Manor Park. And it's not just a plastic sign. Um, it's all hand painted. Uh, really nice. I'm not too sure exactly where this was from inside the park um, but yeah it's a really nice item and um, there you go photographed at Drayton Manor Park hand painted sign I love stuff like that I mean you'll know that in my theme park collection I've got various different signs uh, some of them are plastic but I've got a lot of wooden painted signs and they're the ones that I really like you know where someone's had to hand paint them and stencil them and honestly they've done a fantastic job so I'm really pleased with that item uh, now let's move on to something that I managed to get um, from Pirate Adventure shall we uh, this was the first item that I actually bought on the night and it was two door knockers there you go um, so here they are uh, now these are going to need a bit of work doing to them they're 30 years old you've got to think Pirate Adventure the dark ride at Drayton Manor it opened in 1990 so you've got to think you know we're in 2020 now it's 30 years since these things were built um, so there's a bit of restoration luckily um, having things like the bookworm and lots of other items I've done quite a lot of restoring um, over the years and in fact stuff like the bookworm is still a work in progress um, but it's more it's good because it means that I know how to do fiberglass and that sort of stuff uh, and yeah that's the plan to sort of put all these together and fully refurbish them uh, and my dad will be helping me as well he's quite hands-on with doing that sort of stuff uh, but yeah these door knockers are from inside Pirate Adventure got two of those and the plan is to fully redo the fiberglass on. I think one of them really needs more work than the other. Uh, sand them down, paint them up. Uh, we'll give them a bit of a rustic touch as well. That's the thing when you get these items. You want to still keep the charm, but you also don't want to put them on a wall looking absolutely awful. You know, you've got to do a bit of work to them, but without taking the shine off them. Uh, but yeah, really pleased with those. A couple of door knockers. They were the first thing that I purchased on the night, and the sign was actually the last thing that I got. Uh, that was something that just happened right at the end, and I managed to get. Um, now, in terms of price, Pricing, um, you know, I'll be very honest with how much I paid for you for this stuff. Um, uh, for the sign that you saw, I paid £20 for that an absolute steal, it was a bargain. Uh, that wasn't actually in the auction itself, that was as a separate item. So on the night they had a stall selling a few different items um, and there's a few bits that didn't actually go up in the auction as well that were for sale. So that was bought for 20 pounds, an absolute steal. What a bargain um, for the sign. The door knockers, uh, they were also 20 pounds for the two. Um, so not too bad at all. And the fact that, you know, they're actually pieces of theming from inside the ride, need a bit of restoration, but they'll be really nice in the sort of pirate adventure display uh, that I plan on doing at some point in the future. 
Right then, should we move on to the uh, next item uh, that I managed to get? Um, sticking with Pirate Adventure with this one. Um, now, this is a cannon, and look at the size of this. It's absolutely fantastic. I must say, it was a little bit dirty. I mean, uh, me and Charlotte have been completely cleaning these off today. The cannon, you can see, it's gone quite white at the back. That's literally all the paint coming off today from washing it. Um, Going to be a fresh coat of paint on there, sanded down, uh, fresh coat of paint. Uh, we've actually got the lid. Someone else at the auction, a friend, of mine bought another cannon and the lid for my cannon is in there so I'm gonna get that lid back very kindly of them um, and put that onto my cannon to, to finish the top off there uh, and I think it, this is a really nice item for restoring it's, it's got three wheels attached to the chassis it's in like two parts you've got the chassis and then you've got the main cannon itself and the camera moves up and down so the plan is to get the one wheel of course attach that back on completely sand them down and repaint um, add a bit of you know a bit of rust and stuff on there to give it a bit of effect but not actually be real rust um, and along with that as well I might possibly put a tube up the middle so if you ever want to have a smoke machine at the side you can have a bit of smoke coming out that'd be quite a nice little uh, little effect to do on there wouldn't it uh, but no, really pleased with the Canon. It's a two-part thing, not too heavy. And uh, for that, I paid £50. So not too bad. The other Canons on the night did go for quite a bit more. I waited until the last one um, before I really got the bidding up. And I managed to get it for 50 quid. So what an absolute bargain um, for that item. Uh, right then, we're going to move away from Pirate Adventure now to another one of my favourites at Drayton. that has been shut for many, many years now. Black Revolver, uh, that was basically um, a Walters in the dark. I mean, I don't think there's any more technical way of saying it. It was a big blue shed, or at least when I remember it, it was blue. And, you know, you had a big sign on the front, a gun, and inside, you know, it was all about Black Revolver. You know, that, that was the theme of it, you know, with this gun. And of course, they had all that audio and lighting in there. It was fantastic, a really, really good ride. Uh, but on the front of Black Revolver, there was this big gun, like a massive gun. But obviously from ground level, you look up at stuff and think, you know, it's big, but it's not that big. Um, but I've managed to buy it <laughs> from Drayton Manor from the auction. I wasn't intending on getting it, uh, but it was one of them things no one was really bidding. And there was a couple of people came in. I thought, yeah, that's going to go cheap. I paid £50 for it. Here it is. So the main gun itself, that, that's in a really good condition. Uh, it's got a back on it. It needs a little bit of work on the back, a bit of restoration, uh, a bit of boarding putting on there. I'm going to give it a fresh coat of paint. Of course, still matching the colours identically to it. Um, and of course... Then I've got the front part of the gun itself um, that attaches to it. Um, that needs reattaching. It needs completely a new back. So that's all fiberglass at the front. It needs like a new um, sort of framework building out uh, of wood on the inside. Um, and then attaching to the main part of the gun. So that's the plan for that. But 50 quid, that's huge. I mean, it's massive. It's like two meters in length. So a really nice item. That's from Black Revolver. Um, and then the final item that I managed to get. So I got five things from the auction. So not too bad at all. Uh, this was the most expensive item, but I thought I'm going to have to get this. So if you saw my video, Remembering Prior Adventure, and if you've not, make sure you check it out. It's a really good watch in terms of the history. And it's actually the first video in a series what I'm going to be doing, talking about past rides and my favourites and sharing my memories. Um, but yeah, so I managed to get a goat. So... <laughs> Of course, we are known as Goat Park Worldwide because of Charlotte's obsession with goats that then extended to my obsession with goats, and we just love goats. And when this came up in the auction, I thought, I'm going to have to bid on it. And it went for a lot. I paid £110 for this goat. So it was an expensive goat, and it was in a state, I must admit. It needed a lot of work doing to it. What, how you're seeing it now there is actually after a full wash down. Um, we're waiting for it to dry now. It's going to dry over the next few days. Obviously, I'm heading out to California. Um, it's the same with all the stuff. We've sort of washed everything down. We haven't started like a sanding process on anything. But the goat, to be honest, I plan on keeping that material. At first, I was thinking, does it need replacing? But no. Now we've washed it. Um, it had a bit of a smell, of course. You know, it's 30 years old. Has it ever been washed when it was in the ride? Probably not. Or maybe a couple of times, but uh, not much. It was covered in dust and it stunk. So we've completely washed it. Charlotte did an amazing job. Um, we even got the hose pipe on it, get underneath and clean it all off. And it's in a much better state now. Waiting for it to dry. That's when we'll start the restoration. Like its feet need a bit of work doing to them, like painting up. One of um, its antlers at the front, that needs sorting out. Are the antlers on a goat? I don't know. Let me know. I'm not too you sure horns antlers <laughs> um one of them needs sorting out again it's just a fiberglass fix that up um so yeah we've got to go and yeah i can't believe it what a fantastic collection in total um you know spending like what 250 quid on all of that 
it to me is an absolute bargain because it's taking away a part of that ride and some of my other favorites from Drayton and having a really nice collection to add to my ever-growing collection here at the world of theme parks um so yeah it's fantastic you've got to think i've got stuff like um the london dungeon stocks i've got colossus restraint i've got two apocalypse seats the bookworm something from excalibur like a um what i got a few years ago like a helmet uh, all sorts of stuff that i've managed to collect real items that can't be purchased from the parks normally uh, and that's not even thinking about my wheels that I've got, pieces of wood from Blackpool's coasters and all sorts. So I've got a really nice collection now. You never know, one day I might have a big museum that you can all come and visit for it all. That's the dream, but uh, we'll see what happens with that one. But there you go, I just wanted to share with you all the merchandise and the well the memorabilia that i managed to get from the drayton manor auction i'm really hoping the park might do something again in the future i know for a fact they've got a lot more items like back of house there what they could easily do an auction with i guess it all depends on if it was financially viable for them did it work out how much did they make on the night staff wages to run it and the auctioneer and all that but i really hope so they do in the future of course i'll keep you guys in the loop here on theme park worldwide um if they do anything again but um yeah there we go thank you all for watching just thought i'd show you them items and of course let me know your favorite out of the five items i've got comment down below which one's your favorite and of course i'm going to be restoring these i mean there's not too much work to go into them it's not like the bookworm that needs a lot of work and it's a, a, a big work in progress with with these i plan to restore them all over the next couple of months and i'll get back to you and show you how they look when they're all done but there we go i'm sean sandbrook thanks for watching theme park worldwide i need to go and pack for california because that's where i'm heading tomorrow morning uh, and that means it's time to cue those credits see you all soon